Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my voice, <clears throat> it's almost gone, but this is going to be such an exciting video. It's actually gonna span a few weeks. You're gonna see an entire transformation of my dream walk-in closet. It's actually an office space too, a vanity makeup area. It's a really amazing space, and I just take you through the entire process and also show you how I organize my clothes and my handbags and my shoes. I wanna say a huge thank you to California Closets. That's who I did decide to go with, and they seriously Seriously, really exceeded my expectations. At the end of the video, I'm actually gonna introduce you. Um, her name's Angel, and she actually just stopped over to see everything, and I just love her so much. So you'll see a little snippet of her at the end, but let's just get into this video. It's so exciting, and I really hope you love it. Lauren, um, she is such a good friend and she is so good at organizing and she's like really nervous to be on camera, but she shouldn't be. But she is going to help me organize this chaotic mess. And like, yeah, she she actually- I'm so excited. Yeah, she's really I'm very so excited. excited. Um, but yeah, this is her dream and this is my nightmare. So Lauren just said some phenomenal information. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna, yeah, just go ahead. So what are we gonna do? Okay, so what we're going to do is we have this just massive pile I had Shay make sure everything that we need to organize today is in one place because that's the biggest thing is seeing everything at one time because then you kind of know what you're working with and you're not then going through the rest of your house, car, trunk, whatever, finding stuff to then have to organize and fit into what you've already done. We are going to start with the biggest impact first is usually how I like to organize because then you feel motivated to keep going. Yes, I like this. Yes. So we're gonna go with the biggest stuff first, plug it into the different sections, see what, see, yeah, that, just yeah. keep watching. Okay, so here's just an update. We're going through things. I think we're making headway, but we've run into several problems. Number one, my I got new hangers. Can you even tell no, this one? You can't tell the difference on this. Yeah, but this is like a yellowy, and this is like pure white. This is what I was going for, but they sent both, and I don't like that, but I think we'll be okay. And then I broke a nail. Can you guys see that? It's very sad. Very <sighs> sad 10 minutes here. Yes, it's okay. We'll, we'll survive. We'll survive. Okay guys, are we ready for the final reveal of my dream walk-in closet slash office slash studio slash whatever you want to call it? Ah, here it is. Oh my gosh, guys. I love it so much. It's it's so much better than I ever expected. I, I really was worried, to be honest, that once I put everything in here, it might look too messy or cluttered, but it doesn't at all. So I think I'm just gonna take you through the entire space and show you how I organize everything to make it look kind of like a boutique. I do wanna point out though that I decided to splurge and get lighting put throughout the entire closet and I am so happy I did this. Like I mentioned in my other video, this extra detail takes it from a great closet to a fabulous, amazing, next level dream closet. 
So we're just gonna start by coming up the stairs and this bonus room is right beside our bedroom. So this really is the perfect location. A lot of you are wondering about that. I'm not going to spend too much time on this very first section just because it is more of a storage space for my equipment, my lighting. I'm honestly not even sure everything that I'm gonna keep here, but I love that I have room to grow and not every space is completely filled to the brim. And I haven't even decorated these display sections yet. But then here is my finished office desk and I am so in love with this setup. The quartz countertops are stunning and so durable, seriously so much better than marble. Guys, I'm telling you, do not, do not buy marble. Been there, done that, it was a terrible decision. Uh, but I also bought this brand new 32 inch white monitor so that I can just plug in my laptop and have a larger screen to work on. And then the white wireless keyboard and mouse are so sleek, as is this white chair. It's not a typical office chair, but the design was exactly what I was going for. But when I'm not in the mood to sit here at my desk, I can just unplug my laptop and move over to one of my favorite spots of the entire space, which is this Chase Lounge. Ooh, I just love this so much. I love working on my laptop, curled up with a nice blanket, a cup of coffee. I've already used it so many times. It's so relaxing and it's just really nice to have my own space to get inspired and enjoy. And I know a lot of you thought I needed an island right here, but I'm honestly so glad I didn't get one. I really wanna film videos in here and having a big heavy island blocking everything just wouldn't work for me. So even though this chair does look large, it's actually really easy to move, especially with this super soft white rug, which by the way, gives the entire closet such a cozy and chic feel. So moving over to the very first section of my closet, here is where I have many of my tops like sweaters, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, blouses, everything is organized first by category and then color. And another trick to getting everything very uniform is to invest in hangers that are all the same color. This is key guys. And then another trick is to make sure all of the clothes are going in the same direction. I used to be so lazy about this, but it really does make a big difference. And then in this mirrored door, I have sweatshirts, scarves, a few last minute outfit essentials like deodorant, perfume, lip gloss, a lint roller. And then I have many drawers down here, which first let me just point out these beautiful crystal handle poles. I love them. Uh, the first two drawers are lined with custom California closet jewelry inserts. I'm so happy I got these. It looks really, really nice. And you guys know how much I love my jewelry. And then the remaining drawers, I have my bras, underwear, socks, loungewear, and pajamas. I also found these beautiful gray baskets at Home Goods and thought they fit this empty space here perfectly. I just use them to store my comfy blankets. Okay, so we're moving on down the line to my wall of bags and shoes. And this is, guys, this is a dream come true. But it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to display everything. And to be honest, I'm still just always rearranging things. I think that's kind of the fun of it though. I love trying to display everything so that it looks aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but it's still functional and easy to find what I'm looking for. Um, I did put my taller bags in these sections, taller boots at the bottom. I did kind of color coordinate some of the shoe sections and I decided to just disperse the bags throughout. Oh, and you also might notice there are no tiny little holes running up and down the sides of every shelf. And guys, I did this totally on purpose. These shelves are not adjustable, which I am 100% fine with. I have plenty of space that I can work with. And I know there are little white stickers that you can buy to cover up the holes, but I just, I just feel like I was paying so much for this really beautiful space. I just didn't want the holes running throughout everything. On this next side of the wall, we have another full section of clothing. We have a section for jackets, a place for pants and skirts, a section for cardigans, and a dedicated spot for blazers. Yes, it is amazing. So again, everything is color coordinated, going in the same direction, which just makes the entire space feel organized. And I absolutely love this big mirrored door. It is perfect for getting ready and seeing your whole outfit. If you open the door though, I actually have all of my shorts and jeans folded by color. The shorts are on the top and then jeans go from light, medium to dark wash. I clearly love my jeans and I honestly, I didn't, I didn't realize that, that I had this many. I also wanna show you these cool add-ons 
add-ons. This is a tie or belt holder, which I'm obviously using it to hold my belts. And then I also have a few of these, which you just pull out and you can hang clothes or maybe your outfit of the day. And then right above here are more shelves that I can display handbags or shoes or my beloved YouTube plaque, which I really like. And to be honest, all of this wouldn't be possible without YouTube. So thank you, YouTube. And thank you guys for freaking just watching my videos. I, I love you guys. But now we're gonna move on to the vanity area, which is almost identical to my office space with these quartz countertops, the drawers. I even have the same chair. But you will notice that there is this beautiful lighted mirror that is actually hardwired into the wall. And I can just run my hand over the center and then that turns it on and off, which I think is really cool. It has a very bright natural light, which is perfect for doing my makeup every morning. And I love how the countertop just has a very minimalistic look with just a few makeup brushes, a smaller mirror, I've got some flowers. I have a lot of space to store makeup in the drawers, my hair dryer, curling irons, and everything else I might need to get ready each day. So that is the main part of the closet, but I actually have another full closet right here, which is basically for anything that I don't really like isn't that pretty? I've got boxes, dust bags, hampers, random keepsakes, and I'm actually really glad I have this space. Sometimes it's nice to have a spot that doesn't need to look perfect. And I also have this section here that is very tall, which is perfect for my long dresses and jumpsuits. But again, I'm really glad I have this spot. Hey guys, I have Angel here, who is the designer of this closet. She's here kind of looking over things, so I thought it'd be fun to introduce you. Hi, I'm Angel from California Closets in Pittsburgh and it has been such a pleasure working with Shay, completing her dream closet, and it's definitely in boutique style. It's been a great journey with her, from far as lighting, to picking out where she wanted her clothes, to so everything yeah. that we put in here, it's a great space. Yeah, so if you guys do happen to live in the Pittsburgh area, I highly suggest reaching out and booking an appointment with Angel. She's seriously been the best, so thank you so thank much. You. So guys, that is my dream walk-in closet, and I know I keep saying this, but I am so happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and perhaps it gave you some inspiration for your current or maybe your future closet or office space. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.